Jorge, Robbie, the final. Welcome to the 2019 Anglers for Anglers final held at Arabi Dam. I'm your host Rowan Smith and today we will, we will be looking at a few teams competing to take the win and to qualify for the super finals which will be held at Drikopis Dam later this year in November. And uh, this is an exciting event for, for the Anglers of Anglers every year, uh, one of the highlights of our year definitely. And here we are looking at team Risk Assured, Johan and Colin. Risk Assured is also an official sponsor of the Anglers for Anglers, so a big thank you to them. And uh, yeah, they landed a very nice first fish for the day. Always awesome starting a day with a kicker like that, to looking at about five pounds there. Absolutely awesome first fish. Then we move over to myself and Mbux, Team Redemption. Me and Mbux decided to fish offshore early in the morning to fish some of those trees. And uh, the fish was suspended, so not the easiest of fishing, but it did pay off at the end of the day. Yeah, I got hooked up to our first fish of the day in the tree. It really is a high risk, high reward situation. So many anglers lost some really big fish fishing these techniques in the trees. And uh, yeah, they just wrap you, boom, and snap your line. It doesn't matter if you've got 15, 20 pound line, they, <laughs> they wrap you and it's a done deal. But a very nice first fish for us and we were very happy to get the tempo going. Team Big and Bass, Jock, Lewis and Ruben Forster also joined the Anglers for Anglers final. They are tied in sixth place with Team Bass Machine, some two really good teams sitting in sixth place. Then we have a look at Team Bass World, Vion Rath and Jono Jersley. They are in the game for the Angler of the Year title, so they are really have to give the A game this competition. And Vion does that. He's hooked up to his first fish for the day, and it is a big one. Jono hooks, uh, nets the fish here for him. As you guys can see, that is a proper first fish. Gary Pete and Adrian Late sitting in the top 10 before this competition as Team Technomech, two well-known anglers in the sport of bass fishing. Just a little bit of history about the dam, the Arabi Dam is also known as Flag Bushido Dam. It lies in the Olifants River near Marble Hall in Limpopo in South Africa. It was established in 1987 and it has a capacity of 185 million cubic meters, so quite a large surface area. The dam has some pretty good fishing security can be an issue at times so you got to be cautious as well as there's some massive crocodiles here i'm hooked up to our second fish for the day also another keeper when bucks nets the fish for us and we get our second fish in the box always nice getting a limit early on especially if you can get a decent limit like that it really does help back to team basswold vian hooked up again with the proper fish so far they have had two first place finishes this season so they have been a really consistent team and consistency is key in the tournament format series that we are fishing currently and here they are hooked up to their second fish for the day as well getting their limit ready to start culling awesome fish again once from Vian Rath just a quick weather update temperatures was reaching the upper 30 degrees celsius mark with little to no wind throughout the day and no cloud cover as at all and water temperatures was reaching the low 80 degree Fahrenheit mark. Johan is hooked up once again here with the fish for them. They have done really well this season. It is their first season of competitive bass fishing and they have done really well sitting in fourth place overall. What a great second fish for Team Risk Assured. Here we have a look at Team Take a Bite, Johan Kutzer and Johnny Engelbrecht. Back to Team Redemption when Bux is hooked up and it looks like a proper fish. We are looking to put our third fish in the box. Oh, 
unfortunately the fish came off. Back to Team Bass World once again. They are actually one of the very few teams still fishing a spawning pattern. Most of the teams, including myself and Berks, were fishing post-spawn patterns and they were one of the few teams that picked up that there's still uh, quite a few spawning fish and they capitalize on those uh, fish. Here we look at Johan once again, hooked up. Keeping the fish low. These fish are notorious for spitting your bait. Not one of their biggest fish of the day. I'm sure they'll be cutting that throughout the day. Here we have a look at Team Stretch 60 from Mike Kluter and Terry Hyde. The mic is hooked up here. And it is a decent fish for them for the day. Mike and Terry are two very well and respected anglers in our field of bass fishing. Let's move over to Team Bass World once again. They are fishing some sparse brash. Quite shallow water over there. And Vian showcasing is one of their bigger fish for the day. Me and Umbuk still fishing the tree pattern. Still early in the morning. We managed to get our bag really really early in the morning, so we were lucky about that. It really helped us get confidence for the rest of the day. Here I got hooked up once again. The bite was so subtle. Most of the times you don't even feel it. You just feel the fish start running with your line, so you've got to pay attention to your line. The slightest tick and you got to set the hook. Your Umbuk nets the giant for us. Once again, a good fish for for our bag going the fisher to check if it's going to cull yes or no at this stage we still didn't have limits so moving over to team risk assured once again colin hooked up here to one of their fish i think they're on their second or third fish by now let's move over to team five alive lapis and sean they are currently sitting in fifth place before this competition here we have a look at um books this is about 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the day. I'm not exactly sure time-wise. Books is hooked up here. By this time, it was already very, very hot. There we go. One of another decent fish for us. I think we got our limit by now. We are both very happy. Let's have a look at Team Bass Machine. Dierwald Pretorius and Jakob van der Merwe, as mentioned earlier, they are currently sitting in 6th place tied with Team Biggin Bass. Back to Team Bass World, Vian hooked up once again. As you guys can see, they're fishing quite shallow. Like I've mentioned, the spawning pattern. Let's move back to Colin from Team Risk Assured. It looks like he's hooked up to quite a decent fish once again. These fish have a tendency to try and go down one last time as soon as they get to the boat. So a lot of fish was lodged right at the boat. There we go. A decent fish for Team Risk Assured. Arabi Dam is definitely very well known for their massive crocodiles and plenty of crocodiles. It isn't funny to see 10 or 20 or 30 crocodiles throughout the day going to Arabi Dam. So you definitely don't want to be falling off of your boat in that dam. Also crazy bird and wildlife species around. The Anglers for Anglers final is the only two day event in our calendar. So we knew that we would have to be conservative regarding our areas. Otherwise, if we were to put the hammer down on day one, on day two, we weren't going to be able to get the same results. So we had to get our bag more or less a good size. And then we knew on day two, we would put the hammer down and milk the area as much as possible to get our winning bag. Let's look at team never give up Tony and Dana. One of the only couples fishing the anglers for anglers. Back to team risk assured. Looks like they are fishing offshore during the midday. And uh, it looks like it's paying off. Hooked to another good fish it seems like. On their crackleback 460 bass boat. Equipped with a motor guide XR5 trolling motor. It seems like the fish is taking them to the trolling motor. looks like they are stuck in the trolling motor always not a good situation to have yourself in I've lost multiple fish myself getting line stuck in a trolling motor I 
always terrible when they're on that side. <laughs> Trailing motor into the main motor, always <laughs> risky. Seems like Colin has the line. Is the fish still on? The fish is still on. It looks like a decent fish as well. Wow. <laughs> Hand lining a good sized fish. Very well done. Luckily the fish didn't come off. Back to Team Redemption, myself and Umbux. It is our first season fishing together and uh, we are very lucky we've had three third places in a row. A fifth place, a first place and a few top tens. And uh, we are looking to do it once again. Yeah, I'm hooked up to another fish. Umbux nets the beast. And at this point in the day, it's extremely hot and hard to concentrate, but managed to get a nice fish for us. Back to team, risk assured. Seems like Colin is once again hooked up. Yo! <laughs> what a beast. Let's have a look at team Bass Fever with Flip Maritz and John Pierre Maritz doing very well this season as well. Let's move over to team Bass World once again. Vian is hooked up, John and Nated, and wow, what a, what a fish. Seems like it's definitely worth celebrating. At this point in the day, myself and the books had a fairly good bag, and we were looking for a few upgrades here and there out of our areas to try and save those areas of ours for day two, and when books got hooked up to another good fish here. We managed to land the fish it is a very good fish for us once again it's definitely going to be calling one of our other fish what a beast over to team halfstone gary and his son ryan awesome team in the anglers for anglers trial always nice having them around team risk assured here also looking for a few upgrades for their bag as you guys can see the wind picked up a bit there has moved in a slight bit of clouds and it does make a bit of a uh, difference in the fishing and your hunt is hooked up here once again and it seems like a decent fish they land the fish and it is indeed a decent fish at this point in the day it is about 2 p.m luckily the breeze has moved in a bit but it is still extremely hot very hard to concentrate and focus in this heat but when all is on the line you got to give your best and uh, that's what we did and we hooked up here with another fish we are really thinking you know should we go weigh in our fish should we protect our areas should we look for more fish should we check you know where where other anglers are are they fishing our areas yes or no um luckily we did find a few more fish but that fish isn't big enough it's not going to call it's about a 1.9 insane day of fishing and here we're going to look at another fish that we caught also about 1.9 just not culling our other fish one of the best days fishing for sure let's move over to team the force leon and nick they also did very well currently sitting in eighth place and arabi is a dam they are very comfortable with back to team risk assured it seems like colin is hooked up once again is a fish in the net yes they managed to land a fish and it also looks like a very good fish they have to also have a very good bag by now if looking at the fish they are catching back to the weighing station we are looking at some of the fish catches of the day there tony is putting in some dogs in his box uh, team heavy hooker christopher and hautruters johan loading some of their dogs in their bag ready for weigh-in let's have a look at team go fish Dane and John Allen, the two brothers, doing very well loading some proper size fish in the box. They definitely in contention for the win on day two. So stick around for day two to see what these boys do. Some really good fish that they are putting in the bag. Let's have a look at the Arabi final day one top 10 results. Five Alive, Bass Machine, Redemption, Big and Bass, Bass Fever, Team Outsiders, Technomech, Straight 60, Risk Assured and Bass World. Guys, stay tuned for day two.
Welcome back to day two of the Anglers for Anglers final. Let's have a look once again at Team Risk Assured. Day one, they managed a ninth place with an 8.8 .8 kg bag. Very good result. As you guys can see, they are hooked up once again with another fish starting day two with a good size bass. Let's move over to Team Bass World. Day one, they got a 10th place with an 8.8 .8 kg bag as well. And uh, once again, Vian hooked up their first fish for the day. It seems like a good one. It is an absolute monster. Awesome way to start day two. Once again, fishing their spawning pattern. As you guys can see, Team Visa is busy taking out a net. Gerrit and CJ, a big thank you to you guys. Guys, if you see any nets on the dam, please remove them as much as possible as it does make a big difference if we stand together we can make a difference removing some of these nets back to team risk assured once again we got Johan he's hooked up to their second fish for the day and it looks once again like a better fish Colin nets the fish for them it's definitely a keeper for them for day two over to team Baswood once again it is Jono's turn to hook up and he does that off of the green mamba the legendary thunderbird bass boat and these boys have a really good shot at competing for the angler of the year title today as bass fishermen we all like our toys here we look at Gerrit Tromp's ranger 188 vs paired with a 300 horsepower mercury verado it runs absolutely beautiful team visa here Gerrit Tromp and CJ De Beer on day one they managed a six kilogram bag just a quick weather update for you guys on day two the temperatures was pushing 40 degrees celsius the water temperatures climbed up into the 80 degree uh, fahrenheit mark and uh, little to no wind once again with a bit more cloud cover than day one on day two of the event a lot of the anglers went back to their old honey holes and milked a few more fish off of those areas let's move over to team risk assured once again it seems like Johan has decided to go with a finesse setup and on day two always a good option. Day one the fish get hammered really hard and they get a bit out of biting. So day two if you take a finesse setup through those areas a lot of the times you can get a few more bites. And that is exactly what Johan managed to do. Day two was a tough day for a lot of the anglers. Some anglers managed to get better bags on day two than day one. But for most it was still a grind on day two. Back to team Bass World. Vian got a very nice hook set there and it seems on a proper fish near some brush in the shallows. It seems like they managed to get the fish on the boat and it is an absolute game changer of a fish. It seems like they have got a really solid bag so far for day two. They're also doing some duties. Look at it uh, taking out some nets. As you guys can see a lot of fish stuck in the nets. Arabi crocs, something you don't want to be messing with but an absolute beautiful sight to see some of these animals in our dance. Let's have a look at Colin. He is hooked up and it seems like a very good fish. Oh, a fish came off in the jump right at the boat. Like I've mentioned guys, a lot of teams have lost some really big fish during this competition. Not, not, not nice having some big fish come off your line, especially on day two when you really need some of those kickers to do well. Jono, although he is hooked up to another big fish and he's bringing it in. Vian getting ready to net this dog for him. And they managed to get it. Another solid, solid fish for Team Bass World. Really making a statement on day two. Uh, putting themselves in, in contention for the Angler of the Year title. Unfortunately, a few teams had some boat issues on day two never a nice thing to have but let's move back to the weighing station have a look at some of the big fish being caught the top 10 results thank you so much for watching this video please like and share it as far as possible and join us for the 2020 anglers for anglers season